hi, hi. So I, welcome to the vlog. <laughs> it is a random weeknight and we were trying to make a quick dinner. And of course we were like, we know what we'll do. We'll do like this thing we make where it's like sweet and sour. No, no, no. Yeah. Sweet and sour sauce, tofu or chicken and rice, like really simple, really easy, but it's not as simple when you have to run to the store because you're missing ingredients. <laughs> like, dang it. So I'm running to the store to get a couple of things and some things we didn't, we forgot to get at the grocery store too. So it works out, but I'm trying to do it really fast. It's like 542 and we are very hungry. Can you see that I'm drooling? <laughs> I'm in is like a smaller store like it doesn't have a ton of selection but now I'm like mm, there's some other stuff I've never tried this that's pretty good side note if you're a hot sauce lover this is Tyler's favorite brand I think this is his favorite one of all of them but he really likes this it's kind of harder to find but if you do have it near you definitely worth checking out I didn't I don't think we knew they made sriracha that's pretty cool a couple things of note I left the list in my car usually it's like typed up but I was writing it really quickly so there's that. B, I also have to check in on my phone like in a few minutes. I'm supposed to have jury duty tomorrow. <laughs> Never had that. It sucks. So I have to call like an automated number and I don't even know what. We're going to find out. But yeah, it's just a weird, weird night. <laughs> I'm trying to go fast, but I keep getting sidetracked. I've never, I've had Illy coffee before and I've liked it. I didn't know they made Keurig K-cups. So I'm kind of thinking about getting one. I'm trying to be fast, but I'm, <laughs> like I said, I keep getting distracted. Actually, I might go for just their classic. Sounds good. I actually did have a reason to go in that aisle. I was looking for the iced coffee K-cup pods. I don't think they sell them here. So, you know, but I think I'm done. Okay, I think we got what we need. Now on to home. Actually, I forgot. Got my list here. Yeah, I forgot black beans, which we don't need tonight, and then the iced coffee pods. Not bad. The craziest twist of fate. I called the jury duty toilet paper. <laughs> I called the hotline. I don't have to go in tomorrow, you guys. Listen, I was actually kind of interested to do jury duty. It was the fact that this is like a wild week and it was just not a convenient week to do it. I was down, I was gonna go, it's my duty. It's my jury duty. <laughs> but uh, yeah, it is kind of nice that I'm not gonna have to go in. So that's pretty cool. They did say they'd throw, they'd put my name back into the pool so there's a chance I could have it again in the near future, I guess we'll see. But um, it's a relief that it's not gonna be this week, I can tell you that. So that was a pleasant surprise tonight. Okay, wow. This is probably too much food. This looks awesome, Tyler. Tofu with sweet and sour sauce. We realized we had vegetable fried rice in the freezer, right? We had two of them. Costco. Mm. Then these are from Costco and then green beans that I grabbed from the store. Thank you so much, Hanson. You're welcome. <laughs> also watching House of the Dragon or Hot D as a lot of people are calling it. <laughs> Still makes me laugh. And this little boy. Hi, Hanson. He's not just hanging out for tonight. He's just hanging out. Hmm. By the way, I did want to mention early on that a portion of this video is very kindly sponsored by Casetify. We'll talk about that later in the vlog. Hmm, hello. <laughs> Another day. Uh, what day is even is today? Oh, the day I was supposed to have jury duty. Didn't have to go, so that's been awesome. So I've been around the house and getting some stuff done. I actually just filmed a YouTube short for uh, Thrive Market. Side note. Okay, guys, guys get excited, just ignore all of the mess. So you know how I was talking about in, I think it was my last vlog, how this stresses me out? Well, one of you guys had the genius idea to, cause I was like, I just wanna get a different piece of furniture. This is old, we've had it for years. We're not attached to it. It was given to us anyway. I want something more closed off, right? So there's less visual clutter. One of you guys had the bright idea to turn it into like a coffee bar area. Duh, the genius. So thank you if that was you. I. I, I just can't believe we've never thought of it. So we're gonna kind of start looking at some furniture stores, see what we can find, um, whether it's just like a countertop and like cabinet below it, cause then we could have like coffee supplies below if it's something that has an upper and a lower kind of like hutch style, but again, more closed off because, well, let me just show you. So we have our coffee things here. We've got our Keurig, we've got our, this is our baby. I'll link it below. This is, this makes the best coffee in the world anyway. Uh, so we were thinking these two could move over to whatever piece we find. We could put like all of our extra, like we have K-cup pods here, but we always have extra ones. We just bring down to like a storage area in our basement, but it'd be nice to have it near the coffee. You know what I mean? So when we need to refill it, it's right there. Have tea maybe in the storage, have our coffee mugs in there. So 
it would be really useful. It would free up a ton of counter space, which would be amazing. Uh, yeah, so I'm excited. Side note, if you've been curious about the mess that's in there, I don't know if I've ever shown it. This is because we're getting our basement redone and we are so excited. Eventually we'll show it to you, um, probably come vlogmas time, but that means all of our books are literally being stored in our dining room right now. And that's super fun because we're supposed to have a bunch of family over <laughs> on Sunday. And I, I told my dad, I'm like, I'm cool with hosting people over here, but just so you know, basement is not like usable and neither is our dining room, <laughs> just filled with books. So but it'll kind of be fun to show some family the progress down there because I think they'll be um, interested to see it. So that is the haps. I need to go upstairs. We got a couple more hours left in the work day. Um, and both girls are here today, but Felicity's napping and Gigi's just relaxing upstairs. So I'm gonna try to go get some emails answered and a little bit more work done and then figure out, I feel like it's always dinner time by the time I finally pop on the vlog, but figure out what we're gonna do for dinner. And I made iced, well, I took my coffee that was lukewarm and just put ice on it and made iced coffee. This is like one of the cutest things I've ever gotten on Etsy, but the stickers are coming off and I don't dishwash it. I always hand wash it, but slowly but surely some of them have come off. So, but I still love it and I still use it. It's so cute. Also, you guys, oh, it's so exciting. I absolutely love the fall. This just makes me so happy. The nice thing is the, the one I just showed you here has already started to turn and then we've got time on this one. So hopefully by the time this one, most of the leaves are gone, this one will be turning. So we'll have like, we'll get to enjoy it for a little bit longer, you know? And there was our buddy. Do you see the squirrel? <laughs> hi, hi. So we are at the workspace right now and I am doing my hair um, because we are going on a, well, I mean, I'm doing my hair cause I'm about to film a <laughs> video. I mean, that's the, but we're also going to be going on a date tonight. And Tyler and I have not done a true date in a while. Like I, I'm trying to think if we've even had one since we had Felicity. I'm sure that we have. I know that we have. Yes. Cause we, but anyway, just the two of us, cause we've done a couple things with friends without the girls, but we haven't gotten to do a lot. Just the two of us. So I'm so excited. So after work today, we are going to a really nice dinner and we are gonna go see a show. We, so theater, if you didn't know, is a big part of Tyler's and my like life. Like we met doing theater. I went to school for it for a while before I swerved and went to school for teaching. So anyway, we've just realized how much we miss when we aren't seeing shows throughout the year. And so we bought season tickets for like the Broadway tours. Um, so the first one of the season is Anastasia. So I'm so excited to see that tonight. Um, go to dinner with him. It's going to be so fun. So that is, uh, I mean, that's what I'm getting ready for technically, even though I'm also, like I said, getting ready for filming. So I'm so excited. Hair is just about done. I just need to kind of zhuzh it, comb through it with my fingers, hairspray. This is actually dry shampoo hair. Um, I don't always like after I dry shampoo, like restyle it, but it just needed it. It was just a little bit tangly and stuff. And I was like, you know what? I'm just going to brush through my hair after dry shampooing it and actually redo my hair so that looks a lot better all right so i need to get some filming done also i have a scratch right there from felicity <laughs> it was when i realized i needed to cut her nails but she's in that phase where she's just grabbing everything you know and she got me i'm like oof. so never fear i've cut her nails since then but geez i was like dang if that's not a uh reason or a, what am i trying to say i don't know anyway her nails are cut <laughs> Who's keeping track? I don't know. Alrighty, we are ready. I got done filming and uh, it all worked out, so that's good. I got my little outfit on. I'll link what I can below, um, but I also have, I'm just wearing regular leggings because they are the comfiest, and these boots, um, which I love. I got them at, I almost said Shoe Carnival. Are Shoe Carnival still around? Um, DSW. These boots are pretty comfortable, but if we were walking like a long distance, I don't think it would be, but luckily we're not walking too much because the restaurant we're going to and the like venue that are really close so that works out really well anyway we are ready to go I'm so excited <laughs> So
So future Jesse popping in to thank today's video sponsor, which is Casetify. Those are the phone cases I've been using for years. This is my new one, isn't it cute? I love this so much. But Casetify is like the world's most popular tech accessory brand. Everyone I know uses it. I see it all over social media. And like I said, I've been using Casetify cases for years, but I have a new accessory I've been using. I wanna talk about here in a second. But I love them because they are 20% more protective than other brands. I just fully trust the protection on these their new case is their bounce case and literally the expanded corners make it so that your phone literally bounces when you drop it i'll show a drop test right here with this case because i just trust caseify cases i've never had any issues with cracked screens or anything i drop mine absolutely daily and i've never had any problems but i also like that they have all of the cute trends like i feel like this kind of I don't even know what to call this like wavy checkered design is super popular right now. They have tons of that. They have anything you are into, you'll probably be able to find a case for. There's over 2000 different designs. I also love that they work with different artists. They have different collaborations with people. So there really is something for everyone. But I like that you can also customize it. You can put your name, your monogram on it, your initials. But their Recasetify program is also really cool. I think as of now, they've recycled over 51,000 phone cases. And so the cases they're making are made of 65% recycled material. You can kind of see on the side there. But that also means there's 20% less carbon emissions which is so cool. So some of my cases I currently have for my new iPhone 14. I love this design. This is the one I previously had on it. I just think it's so romantic and cute. But I also love this one that has books on it. It just makes my book love and heart so happy. I like how clean this one looks. And then I also have this really pretty kind of green design. I feel like it's pretty in the winter. I also have this pink one that has my name on it. I love the bright pink makes me so happy. And then of course, my favorite one is the one I currently have on my phone right now. They also sell really cute accessories. They have these phone charms that I'll pop on the screen what they look like that are so cute. I'm thinking about trying out but then they also have their phone strap so I have this gold one and it's really easy you put this little card that will pop out through the bottom of your case and then you simply attach the phone strap to it you can wear it crossbody like a purse on one shoulder it's just one of those things that makes it easier to be hands-free like for me I'm running around chasing kids especially when I'm like running errands it's so nice I can just use my phone drop it it's hanging on me it's useful but it's really really cute I wanted to mention it I have the gold one but they have a lot of different colors and designs for the phone straps. So it's definitely worth checking out because I really have grown to love mine. And when you don't have the strap on it, all that's on there is this little thing. I like that it's not obtrusive at all. You can still charge it with no problem. And another thing to mention, their cases are wireless charging capable, which is really important to me. That's how I charge my phone. Um, so I wanted to mention it if that's something important to you too. So if you want to get 15% off your Caseify order, you can go to caseify.com slash Jessica Braun for that 15% off. I will have that that link and information down at the top of the description box as well. Thank you so much to Caseify for sponsoring this portion of the video. Good morrow, everyone. <laughs> um, I'm in my jammies. <laughs> I got my hair dyed the other day and I feel like it's hard to see. It's not super different. And I think it's technically just like balayage where it was just like, I don't, listen y'all, it was the first time I've ever done it. I was so nervous. I did post a uh, like Instagram reel about it. I'll link if you wanna see it. It's real short, but it looks more obvious in the sun, sun. So like in that reel, you can see it, but it wasn't a total transformation, but it is exactly what I wanted. I just wanted my hair to feel like it's got more life to it. Do you know what I mean? This is not an ideal mirror to be looking in. What was I thinking anyway? Um, but I, I, I love it though. I know it's not super obvious, but I, I'm just happy and I'm proud of myself for trying something new. I was noticing enough grays that I was like, I think it's time to like actually try, try something. So I'm proud of myself. I'm excited to maybe go a little bit more, if you will, next time I go, but that's in a few months anyway. So wanted to talk about that. So that's exciting. So I need to go into work for a few hours today. Um, there's some stuff there I need to get, some emails I need to answer. Um, we don't have any help. Gigi's at school, but we don't have any help with Felicity right now. So we're kind of like trading off watching her so we can both get some work done. Um, and then we have some friends coming over later tonight, which would be nice for dinner. So lots to kind of get done, check off the list. We're going to get there, guys. We're going to get there. Yes. Actually, I need a little more creamer in there, I think. Side note, I typically just use half and half, um, but I wanted to bring these up because these are the best creamers I've found taste-wise. Pumpkin spice creamers I'm really picky about, and I, I can't drink it all the time unless it's like in a cold coffee drink. 
This one is the best, but it was really hard to find for me, but it's really good. And so literally when I found this, I looked at the date, I'm like, okay, I'm gonna go ahead and buy this too because I don't really want it yet. But peppermint mocha, if I'm choosing like holiday flavors, this is always gonna be king. It's so good. So wanted to bring it up. If you see these and you like flavored creamers like this that are sweet, definitely check them out because they are like a league above other ones I've tried. So I'm actually playing with Felicity a little bit right now. Um, we got our next Love Every box. So they, if you've never heard of it, not sponsored, they did send this to me, but these we've loved for literally years. We've done a lot of these with Genevieve. So this is their months five and six box. It's got things that are like developmentally appropriate, which is great because quite honestly, it gets really overwhelming. Even with my second kid, I'm still like, wait, so what kinds of toys would they be interested in right now? You know what I mean? So this is pretty cool. I can definitely see her playing with these. Look at that. She loves pulling things out of stuff. So that's kind of perfect. Wow. That's pretty cool. What do you think? <laughs> I can link Love Every below. Um, I, it's an affiliate link. I, I never can remember if you get a percentage off or not. Um, but I'll link it below if you want to check it out. It's an awesome, I mean, obviously we're entering gift gift giving season. Awesome gift for people that have kids or just kids in your life, babies, obviously. Um, toddlers, it's it's a goodie. It's really, and also like baby shower. I think you can get gift certificates. Uh, that'd be a good one too, right? Yeah. All right, it is totally later in the day. Forgot I was vlogging, to be honest with you. What's going on with my chin? Anyway, um, you can see it a little better in this light. I think that looks so nice. So anyway... Um, I'm actually going to go pick up Genevieve from school and Tyler's making a homemade lasagna. You guys, he made the ricotta from scratch. I've never had homemade ricotta. So I'm very excited to try that. Ricotta is like one of those things in life that I just love. Um, homemade red sauce, like all kinds of stuff. So, so excited to try that. He also made homemade focaccia bread, which is my favorite kind of bread. Ooh, like mm, this is going to be a good meal. So I'm so hungry right now too. So um, that is the half. So I'm trying to like straighten up the house a little bit before our friends are over just because I feel like it's a just so untidy. Like there's just stuff everywhere. So and just lots of like loads of laundry that haven't been put away. Um, yeah, so I got to get that done too. It is a rainy kind of chillier day and it's been unseasonably warm. So that's kind of nice, but I'm heading to brunch with my girlfriends. I'm so excited. We're trying a new place we've never tried that looks really good. Okay, that was awesome. The food was really good, but we were like literally the only ones in there, which is crazy because the place we went, I'm trying to buckle up. The place we went was a place that we've heard amazing things about and it's the weekend. So it was like bizarre anyway, but it was really good. So uh, there's that. Um, heading home because today Tyler is gonna try to organize the garage and kind of get that stuff together while we I'm trying to think, I mean, I'm, I'll be hanging with the girls, but I'm trying to think of if I can get, I desperately need to get some laundry done. Oh my gosh. Um, and did I tell you we finally got our new washer dryer? I think I did. I know I post on my Instagram stories. It basically fits. <laughs> I'll have to show you. It basically fits. Um, so we've got that, which is nice. And I can fit like actual full loads of laundry. Our old ones, if you didn't know, well, they were new, but they are, they were tiny anyway. <laughs> Don't let me get started on this saga, you guys. I can't possibly talk about this anymore. But uh, yeah, so laundry today, I would love to um, just kind of straighten up some things. I've been, I'm on it, I'm in a decluttering mindset right now. So I desperately want to like declutter some things, but that also, I feel like takes some focus time and I don't think I'll have that today. So that might not happen, but we shall see. I desperately, I did have a realization. I have so many makeup brushes and I use the same ones. And I'm like, oh, I'll keep all of these other ones that I've had for years, you know. I'll keep them so, like, when I need to clean these, I'll use these. Guess what, guys? That never happens. I just wait, and then I re then I wash the ones I use, and then use those again. So I'm like, there's literally a drawer of brushes that just sit there. They've been sitting there for years. They're clean. They're just sitting there. So I, I think it may be time. That's something maybe I can get done today. Just pull out all my makeup brushes, genuinely get rid of a ton of them, pass them on. Um, and some of them are so old, like they just need to go anyway, but yeah. So we'll see what we actually get done. All right, you got this weird angle. So we are home. Gigi is playing with a toy right next to me. So um, I wanna go through my brushes, like I said, because my real, I, I was gonna, <laughs> I was finding every excuse not to do this today because I was like, okay, I have some brushes at the workspace, so I should wait till they're all together. I'm like, Jessica, you have a little bit of time today, just do it. 
So, and really the ones that are at the workspace, I use a lot. There's a reason they're there. So I'm like, I'm probably, I can quickly kind of sift through those and decide. Um, but I'm just going to focus on this. So here's my scenario. I have the brushes I use every day that live over there, right? By the way, this container I just got, it was like seven bucks at uh, Home Goods or somewhere. So I can't really link it. But anyway, um, I also have all of these dirty brushes that guess how long they've been dirty. Well, since the last time I bragged about cleaning them, which would have been a thousand years ago. So there you go. And then I also have this drawer of like backup brushes. Now, the one thing I do need backups of are my pop up blenders. These are like $1.50 ish each. I get a six pack on Amazon. It's around 10 bucks, um, which is how I get them. And I replace them, you know, every so often, but they're my favorite. I like them better than the beauty blenders and they're so cheap. So it's awesome. Anyway. Okay. So I'm going to lay out my brush. I really don't know how to go about this because this is not going to be like a typical declutter video. Like I'm not going to show every single thing, but I do kind of want to take you along in my thought process. So I feel like I know what I like, you know what I mean? And I'm never at a point, like I said, I always have that mindset. And I know a lot of you guys do too, where I'm like, oh, well, what if I one day have a dirty brush and I need a clean version of this? That just doesn't happen. Because if I really desperately needed it, I could just use said dirty brush. You know what I mean? Or I could clean it. Like, it's just not that deep. And I always make it so deep. And some of these I've had for like eight years. So I think it is time. Um, so some of the ones that I know, like I love, you guys know I love the Sephora uh, line of brushes. I actually just bought a couple more. But I have multiples of a few. So I have like two of the number 55. This is the old one and the newer line that's, it's like the same. But these I know I'm gonna keep because they're like my favorites. There's a reason I have two. So um, that's something that's kind of easy for me, if you will. But then like there's this Eco Tools brush. This one's okay. There are some Eco Tools brushes I love. I love this blush brush so much. But this one is like kind of a foundation-y brush. I never ever use it. That's an easy, easy one that can go. There's something magical about this brush here from Haley's Beauty. I just love it. It's such a good, um, honestly, I pretty much exclusively use it for cream bronzer and it's one of my favorites. However, the Elf, this one is so similar. The Elf uh, Ultimate Blending Brush is so good. I'm wondering why my back's always hurting. I'm literally sitting like a uncooked shrimp. I read a meme the other day that was like uh, something about that. Like basically like, why does my back always hurt? And then it's like also me sitting like an uncooked shrimp at all times of the day. I'm like, yeah. Anyway, uh, these are amazing, but the e.l.f. one is so good too. So the, again, that's an easy keep. I need to clean them, but it's an easy keep. This brush is another favorite, the number 56 brush. And I have a dirty one of it too. Um, the old and new. Uh, these are so good. I absolutely love it. So that's an easy keep. So let me go through a few more of these and then I'll kind of come back and see if there's any, any highlights to share. Sorry. All right, we're making some progress. So I've got all of these I'm getting rid of. Amazing. I, I think there's going to be some more. That's kind of where I'm at right now. So I'm kind of seeing like how many different versions of different brushes do I have? You know what I mean? Um, I've got powder brushes here. Uh, what I'm really doing is I'm taking like this. I have two of, right? This is like my, one of my favorite brushes ever, the number 55 for powder. So I'm going to keep one and then I'm taking any that I have a double of that I love and I'm going to take it to the workspace. And if I don't have this there or like anything that can replace it, I'll leave these. And if not, then they'll go. So that's kind of what this pile is. Things that I have two of basically the same or very similar. And then I'm just going to compare it to what I have there and then determine what to keep from there. So that's helping me whittle this down. Like I have two Haley's Beauty brushes. So obviously keep one, take one to the workspace. So that's kind of where I'm at um, deciding between like brushes. Side note, another brush line I love is the BK Beauty. Oh my goodness. They're so soft. They're so, so good. I don't have any like affiliate code. I don't think a referral code, but they do send me their brushes and I really, really like them. Uh, but I wanted to mention it because a lot of the ones I actually have at the workspace are there and I get a lot of questions about it. So any of them that have this color handle, that's from that brand. Anyway, so we're making some headway. Gotta, gotta make some tough decisions here, but this is feeling really good. I would love to just honestly just have enough to keep in there and then that's it, you know? And yes, I know I need to wash these guys. I don't need to hear it. I know. Trust me. <laughs> okay, guys, I did it. This is all I'm keeping. I know you're so proud. This feels so good. I'm just going to clean all of them. I think half of them are dirty, half of them aren't. And I'm like, honestly, they could probably just all use a wash. So going to clean them all. They're going to be fresh, but this is all I'm keeping. 
These are ones that are going to go to the workspace so I can compare to my collect. Basically do the same thing there as I did here, although it's not as many brushes because I think the amount of brushes I have there is like this, you know. So kind of whittle through that collection, keep some, get rid of some, and that'll be perfect. I'll basically have one just like set, core set of brushes here, a core set of brushes there, and then that's it. This feels so good. I have needed to rip this Band-Aid off for, for, for so long. So we'll see about those. This is everything I'm getting rid of, you guys. This feels incredible. I am proud of myself. Things that I've had for so long. Like the Artiste brush I really liked for a long time for foundation. I haven't used this in so long. And I'm like, well, maybe. I'm like, it's it's just not going to happen, Jess. Just get rid of it. Um, things I even do like, but I don't need. Not that one. There are quite a few brushes in here, to be honest, that I actually do like. But I just don't use enough or I have one I use more that I'm like, again, I'm tired of playing that. What if I, you know, type game, It's they just gotta go. Or ones that are were limited edition, you can't get any more anyway. And you know, if I'm not crazy about it, there, there really is no reason to do it. So this feels so good. Let this be a sign to you. If you need to go through something in your house, this is obviously makeup brushes today, but I've just been in one of those mindsets of like, there's just so much I keep for no reason other than that what if and that day I mean it's you know think about how many years you've had something and if that what if still hasn't happened probably not going to happen I would I would venture to guess like 90% of the time you don't end up needing it you know anyway so that feels awesome I'm so proud of myself this is like the first time in probably a decade that I've just had this many brushes you know what I mean like ever since I really started doing YouTube more full-time like I mean even before it was like a job if you will I always started like, you know, I collected brushes. I never really, I would declutter from time to time, but not like this. So this is, it's a good feeling y'all. I hope, I hope you're feeling it. <laughs> so tonight I, I found a new recipe I want to try. I don't think I'll vlog about it here because I'm going to end this vlog here in a minute, but um, it has, I'll link it below. It's like kale and gnocchi, gnocchi. <laughs> um, and I think it's like ground sausage, something like that. And I want to say it's a half- no, 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 it's not Half-Baked Harvest. It's another one. But it, the, then I was like on this person's Instagram and I'm like, oh, okay. They have a lot of good recipes kind of like Half-Baked Harvest, just something different. So I want to try that tomorrow. Um, we'll see if I actually do just because I'm trying to think of more ways we can have like kale in our diet, like like greens in our diet other than just eating salad or like putting it in a smoothie. So um, I figure that's one way. And yeah, I hope you guys enjoyed this vlog. So again, future Jesse popping in to say thank you again to Caseify for sponsoring a portion of this video. If you want to get 15% off your Caseify order, you can go to caseify.com slash Jessica Braun. Again, I'll have that link right at the top of the description box for you. Thank you to Caseify for sponsoring. You having fun, Gigi? She's playing with like a little set that like you open and it's like, uh, here, I'll show you. Very exciting. It's like a little book and when you open it. With all these little pieces that's so cool genevieve anyway so i love you guys thanks for watching all the way to the end if you want to check out more of my vlogs i'll link my vlog playlist and i'll see you guys in my next one bye